Hi, how's it going? Um, can I just do a um, grande black coffee? I'm almost embarrassed to say this. I consider myself pretty well-traveled and pretty well-versed in snacks, especially culturally significant snacks. Never have I ever had a Tim Tam, which obviously, while you're watching this video, please let me know, have you had a Tim Tam? You guys, hello, happy Friday. Welcome back to Sean's first time eating. Uh, I'm gonna eat my feelings today because I had to drop my dad off at the airport and he's gone and I miss him. <laughs> Hope you guys like the videos. Who's ready for some more cheese curds? Today's video made possible by one of my favorite people, Mr. Michael Stevens. <laughs> Tim Tam Slam, you're welcome. Will be A plus content. So one of the next videos that I drop on this channel will be the Baltimore vlog. It's taken many an hour to edit it because there was so much just drunken footage. None of it has any narrative. It's just a bunch of friends hanging out having fun that I thought I'd share with you guys. Is it at all significant in the grand scheme of the channel? No. But we did get a food review in there, <laughs> so it'll be great. I didn't know what a Tim Tam Slam was. I had to look up what a Tim Tam Slam was. Here's what a Tim Tam Slam is. It, they're rectangles, so you bite off a little bit of one corner of the rectangle, then you go to the hypotenuse down to the other corner. You go that corner down to that corner, and bite off diagonal, you go bite off that other little corner, and now that becomes a straw. Suck it up. My coffee went down too low. And then once it gets to be like really soft, you slam it in your mouth. Basically, you bite the ends of this cookie and you use it as a, stra uh, a rectangular straw through which air can pass. Put one corner in your mouth and you can breathe through it, dip it in the hot liquid, and then you suck, suck the liquid in only for like two seconds. And drink a hot liquid. So I, I got coffee, because it was also, they have one in the grocery store where you can also get these. Ease. <laughs> and what happens is the hot liquid renders the middle of the Tim Tam molten. All right, you wrong, I have to create an irresistible chocolatey biscuit. That's not right. Arnott's needed to find a suitable name. Australian baker Ross Arnett found inspiration at a U.S. racetrack. Oh cool, he was gambling and drunk and high. In 1958 as the winning horse, Tim Tam galloped across the finish line. Okay, so these, name, these are named after a dead horse. These are one of Australia's most beloved biscuits. What is it with... Oh, I'm just... <laughs> that was upside down. So was my life. Nobody cares, Sean. I've been to Australia. I was in Melbourne, Melbourne, for like a month. Nobody cares. I don't remember eating these back in, that was back in 2005. People overseas really like biscuits, huh? And like biscuits. Like we like big old fat buttery biscuits down south. Butter my biscuit. Would you like us to provide someone to butter your biscuit? Jason, why are you such a skis? I'm just being friendly. Guys riding a a dirt bike on the sidewalk in downtown Chicago. I've seen it all. There's actually a lot of that here. What's that? He's just on the sidewalk on a dirt bike. Anyways, this is a Tim Tam. This is the original flavor. I also saw they have like a caramely one. I think they make many a flavor, but um, here's a Tim Tam. I like cookies and biscuits when they come in sleeve formation. It's not even that hot out today or yet, and these are already melting in my hands. Like, look at this. It's already, okay, let's try one sans coffee. Wow, that just lit up my morning. Wow. I love wafer. My grandma would always have that like chocolate, vanilla, strawberry, like those wafer cookies, like the like Neapolitan variety. Damn, these are good. Wow, that's just so nice. It's not too sweet. American chocolate is always too sweet. Too sweet! <laughs> too sweet! Wow, it's just so delightful. I think I just got a cavity. This guy's just smoking pot. He just pulled up next to me. He's like 72 years old and he's blazing a dupe, dude. <laughs> and he's drinking out of like a thermos, but he's drinking it like it's not coffee. You know, like you can just tell when someone's like trying to get every last drop of the sauce. This is an eventful Jewel Asco parking lot this morning. When I traveled, 
overseas many a time, I didn't like how most, mainly in Europe, Australia too, they love like sugary breakfast or like, or just more like simple breakfast, like pastries and danishes and a lot of Nutella. I love a salty American breakfast. I mean, of course I do, look at me. But I think I've, as I've gotten older, I kind of appreciate it more. So now we're gonna do a Tim Tam Slam. I'm gonna try to angle this down. Anybody else get really turned on by the Starbucks logo? <laughs> I'm just joking. Or am I? Look at this tray holder, literally has a little perfect spot for drinks. Michael in college, who donated for this video, did like a double Tim Tam Slam and sent me this like, like hilarious grainy college footage that I could barely meet. I couldn't even tell who he was. He looks like a baby in college. I was like, were you 11 here? He was like, no, I was in college. I was like, okay, cool. Okay. Bite off the end. So you bite it off like that and that, diagonally. And then, my first ever Tim Tam Slam. <laughs> what the f***? It's weird that it goes through this cookie. So slop, so sloppy. It instantly gets that like delicious, soggy, like chewy, like just decadent. I'm gonna, I'm gonna bite a little less off the corners. Cookies are so fucking good. Fucking? Mmm. <laughs> that one worked really well. Oh my god, you really gotta suck. This video's gonna get flagged. Dude, <laughs> that was perfect. Don't bite off as much of the ends. You really, as soon as you like really suck, the whole cookie starts to like slowly and slowly and slowly as a whole get softer and softer and softer and softer, and then you gotta slam it. Oh, they're so good with just coffee in general. I don't even like Starbucks coffee and this is like all the chocolate residue going in there. Oh my God, it's so, this is the best breakfast ever. I'm gonna feel like shit today. <laughs> but will I stop? Nah, dog. Let's turn her face so she's looking right at you while we do this. All right, here we go. That is so delightful. I know it's insane, and you look like a savage. I'm a savage, yeah. Classy, bougie. But I'm telling you what, it makes the cookie such a like beautiful form. <laughs> and you gotta slam it before it goes deep down into the drink. Wow, I like that. I like that. Michael lives in Maryland. I wonder if he's ever put Old Bay, because they're obsessed with Old Bay seasoning. I wonder if they've ever put Old Bay on a Tim Tam Slam. All right, well, I think three's enough for now. <laughs> I'm worried these are gonna melt literally in the car on the way home. That's one chocolatey biscuit. Drive quieter. The senior citizen's still getting blazed over here. Well, what did we learn today? Michael's a effing genius. Well, he didn't come up with this, but I'm glad he donated for this. I like these short ones like this too. You know, some of these recipes, it's like 50 ingredients or I'm driving out to Wisconsin. <laughs> no, I love it all, but these ones are really fun to parcel in here. Tim Tam Slams. Did you get with her last night, dude? Yeah, man, she gave me a Tim Tam Slam. You need therapy. What? <laughs> As you guys know, when you super thanks the show, you get a shout out. Shout out. And today, we got shout outs for Katie, Madden, Aker, D. Cohen, John, D, and David R, David of WR99. <laughs> Guys, thank you so much for. <laughs> Did Sean need all that sugar? No, but today's sponsored by Diabetes. Thank you guys so much for keeping the vlog rolling. I really appreciate you, appreciate you for donating like that. You're all beautiful souls, truly. We got plenty more videos to come, and when the donations stop, Shawnee takes creative control, and I get to make my own videos. Some of you asked me, Sean, when the donations end, is that it? Dude, what do you think I'm just gonna leave you guys? You'll spiral, dude, without me? You'll spiral. Some of you'd be better off, I'm sure, but nah, truly. Videos will continue, not every day, very often, and it'll be stuff that I really want to do for the show that you guys aren't donating for. You're missing on so many great things. I've got so many ideas, and then stuff like this comes in. I'm <laughs> just kidding. But no, that's kind of where the creative control is going to go after that, so you're not going to lose me, my, my dudes. I hate myself. All right, I think we got a package to open. I want to grab this. But first, Tim Tim's up. Tis down. Tim Tam. Timmy and Tammy went to Toronto to Tim to Tim t Timmy and Timmy. Shut up. 
You guys got a Lionel appearance in this video. You're welcome. Okay, before I unbox this package, we're talking sweets today. Look at my dad surprised me and Allie with, and got this at Lakefront Brewing, a cribbage board. Look, it's beautiful. It's got the magnet for the pieces in here. It like sticks perfectly. <laughs> Isn't that gorgeous? We've been on the cribbage train, so wanted to show you guys that. Also, thanks, Ron Ely. Okay, so Anthony Dyson sent me this. If you remember Anthony Dyson, he donated for the jelly chili sauce meatballs that were delicious. Hey, Sean and Allie. God, look how gorgeous his handwriting is. It's beautiful. And most importantly, Lionel. If I could have broken international shipping laws, and <laughs> I would have sent Editor Bay Sean a bottle of Canadian rye. Oh, that's great. Anthony lives in Nanimo. What's the providence with British Columbia? If you guys like geometry. Geomet ge geography. Wow. You're a moron. Nanimo. Let's see how to pronounce this. Nanimo. 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 I, hate, I think it's so creepy they show you <laughs> the lips moving of the AI. Nanimo. Oh, I hate that. Nanimo. Anthony, is she, is she or it saying it right? Oh, wow. Okay, so he wants me and Allie to make these in a recipe video. He donated on the channel for a future video and then sent me Nanaimo bars. Nanaimo. <laughs> Nanaimo bars. Canada's famous West Coast treat. Damn, they look insane. There's so much good stuff in here just for fun. This is like a care package. St. Hubert's poutine gravy. Oh, like spam, but it's click pork. Why do I need two of them? Oh, sowie, sowie? So sour gummy worms for Allie. For Allie, sour, <laughs> comes flying through the door. Hi. I, I thought she was dead. And here, Anthony sent you these from Canada. I love you. Tim Hortons. Oh, he knows I can't get Timmy Ho's here. Thank you so much. And then caramel. Caramel. Oh, and Mars bars! My favorite candy that I can't really get here. Oh my God, thank you so much. And then a silica gel packet. Let's taste test this real quick. Okay, so he wants us to make these in a video. Yeah. They're from Nana Nanaimo. Also, Nanaimo. <laughs> just a knife out is not safe. Oh no, you're not supposed to be over here. I forgot about that. Oops. I mean the dog. Oopsie, well, the dog's fine. He's very versatile. Wow. Thank you. To end this video. All right, Michael Stevens. <laughs> oh, it's gonna be spicy. Let's do a little bit in the coffee. And then a little bit on the Tim Tam. Thank you so much for donating. Thanks for watching. Why am I? Mm, mm, mm. Oh, bye. I'm gonna Ralph. Cool.